What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we don't have a rotary, but we have a LS engine. What we're gonna do here, we're gonna re replace the valve stem seals with the engine on it, with the head on it. We have the new valve stem seals here. New seals. Tools we're gonna need. This little bad boy, so we can compress the springs. We're gonna need a compressor tester hose. We're gonna take the little shirt, black, shirt bulb, remove the bulb. And then we're gonna need this one to remove the seals. So those are the tool needed. First step, remove the air cleaner, the bulb co um, coils, bulb cover. We're gonna remove the, the rocker arms with the eight millimeter. We remove all of them. We're gonna remove the spark plugs. And then whichever stem cell you're gonna remove, you're gonna put the piston all the way up. We'll put the hose in here. This hose. And we're gonna hook that with air. What we're gonna do, we're gonna compress the valve so it can, the air can push the valve up and extend close. And the piston, the reason we push the piston all the way up is just in case the, so the valve won't fall. So it stays in there. But we're gonna avoid it, remove the removing the spark plug putting air into the cylinder the whole time and it's gonna hold the the valve up then we're gonna use a little magnet we're gonna compress the ring we will remove in the keepers spring everything and then we're gonna remove the seal let me start getting that Alright, the spark plugs are off. So they look. I'm gonna go ahead and do another slide. Alright, all eight spark plugs are off. These bottom ones are for the passenger side. Left to right is one, two, three, four. And this is the driver's side. Left to right, one, two, three, four. As you guys can see, the ones that were more worn out, it's the ones on the driver's side. So we're gonna move, we're gonna replace those bob stem seals. All right, now the spark plugs are off. Next step, eight millimeter socket. Are we gonna remove the rocker arms? This one is off. Let's do the rest. Okay, now they're off. We're gonna have put air into the cylinder. We're gonna start compressing the the springs. Okay, we're back. So remember, I have all that removed. Have air directly into the cylinder so you can push the valve up. I have the tool here. I'm already compressing the ring, the, the spring. I have to twist this one here and hold it with the left. That's why I need two hands. Then we keep pushing it until it goes down. And then when the keepers are loose, I'll remove with the little magnet. Little magnet like this one right here. So let me still compress in the, ring, the, the spring so I can remove the keepers. Okay, now we have some movement in there. See that? We should be able to release the keeper with the magnet. Let me go ahead and attempt that. Let me use both hands and then get the keepers out. Okay, keepers are out. You see right there. We can go ahead and remove this. Press, valve stay up. Spin over here gentle. 
We're gonna go with the pliers. Just remove the seal. The way to move it. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. This is the old one out. Put the new one in. We have the new one in. If you get a new set, they're gonna be four, no, eight greens, eight reds. The green ones are gonna be intake, the red one is gonna be exhaust. So the one right here is the intake. So we're gonna go ahead and install this. Careful with the ball, don't push it down. There, once it's there. We're gonna go, we're gonna, gonna grab a big socket and we're gonna give a little tap so we can go down. Okay, this is all we need. All we need is the socket. As long as it fits in here. There. We're gonna push in there and we're gonna tap it with the hammer. Put them in there. We're gonna tap it right now so we can push it down. Let me go ahead and do that because I need two hands. But you guys get the idea, right? All right, new seal is in. I tap it. Now time to return the spring keepers and next one. I do the same thing to all the other rest. So let's get done that one right there. I got it done. Spring and keepers. Just gonna go the spring right here. Uninstall it. Well, so it's back in. Try to remove this one. And voila. That's the first one. Time for the next one. So okay, so as you guys can see, this is how it's done. You guys can remove the bio stem seals with the head on it, head on the engine. It's all good, don't be scared. It's all the parts you need it. Just follow the instructions and you'll be able to get it done. Thanks for watching.